In this video, we're diving into how to build a full-featured doctor or lawyer directory website using Hostinger and WordPress without writing a single line of code. What's going on, everyone? My name is Eric Hunsaker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you build your first website the easy way, even if you've never done it before. Now, if you've ever thought about creating a local business directory, a place where people can find trusted professionals in your area, then this is the perfect starting point. We're going to build a clean, modern directory site that looks great works on mobile and is easy to update. And we're doing it all with Hostinger and WordPress. So let's get started. Now you might be thinking, why bother building a directory site when people can just Google a doctor or a lawyer? Now that's a fair question. The truth is general search engines can be overwhelming. A dedicated directory site offers several key advantages. Niche focus. Instead of sifting through countless irrelevant results, users find highly curated listings specific to their needs. For example, pediatricians in my neighborhood or personal injury lawyers in this city. Trust and credibility. You can establish your site as a trusted resource by vetting listings, showcasing reviews, and providing detailed, consistent information. Local dominance. For local businesses, a directory can become the go-to resource, making it easier for people in your community to find and connect with professionals nearby. Monetization opportunities. Directory sites can generate income through premium listings, advertising, or referral fees. Community building. They can foster a sense of community by reconnecting residents with local services and professionals. So whether you're looking to help your community, create a valuable resource, or even start a new business, a directory site is a powerful tool. And the best part is you don't need to be a coding wizard to make it happen. Step one, get hosting with Hostinger. And before we build anything, we need a place to put our website. That's where Hostinger comes in. It's fast, affordable, and it comes with a one-click WordPress installer, which makes everything way easier. Now, if you want to follow along, I've dropped our affiliate link down in the description below. When you click on that link, it's going to bring you to this page right here. We can go ahead and click on Claim Deal, and you can choose between either the premium website builder or the business website builder. So with the premium website builder, you can build up to 25 websites. You get two mailboxes per website, free for a year, free domain for a year, AI website builder, 150 templates, email marketing, marketing integrations, and more. With the business website builder, you're gonna get 50 websites that you can build, five mailboxes per website, free for a year. And you can sell products and services. There's zero transaction fees, 100 plus payment methods, AI text editor, image generator, AI blog post generator, AI product generator, AI logo maker, and an AI SEO assistant. So go ahead and choose a plan that works best with you and your budget. If this is your very first website. The premium should be more than enough. But if you want to kick it up a notch, the business plan is a great place too. I'll go ahead and click on choose plan. And then there's only a couple more options that you need to fill out here. The first one is just the term that you want to commit to. So if you want to commit to a longer term, you can save a little bit more money. For this example, I'll choose 12 months. And then lastly, come in here to the coupon code code area. I'm going to type in my first website, all one word and click apply. And then you can see for only $43 and nine cents, you're going to get a full year to hosting her, which is an incredible deal. So go ahead, use the link down in the description, choose your plan and use code my first website at checkout. So once you're signed up, go ahead and log into your hosting or dashboard and you'll be guided through a quick website setup. We're going to go ahead and click on create a new website and then select WordPress and give your site a name. Then pick a data center close to your audience and click continue and hosting will handle the rest. So so we'll go ahead and log in to Hostinger here. We'll come over to websites. We'll go ahead and click on add a website. And this is where we'll go ahead and select WordPress here. It's gonna ask you for a few contact information here. We'll go ahead and click next. And then here we can go ahead and choose a pre-built website, but I'm gonna show you what I prefer to do going forward. So we'll go ahead and just do create blank site. Now this is where you go ahead and connect your domain or subdomain for now. I'm gonna use a temporary domain, but if you have your own domain, this is where you can go ahead and connect it. And then you just go ahead and give it a few minutes and let WordPress get installed on your brand new website through Hostinger. Step two, log into WordPress and clean things up. So after the setup finishes, we're going to click on edit website to open WordPress. Here you'll land inside the WordPress dashboard. Now don't worry, it looks more intimidating than it is. Here's what I recommend. Head to the plugin section and delete anything that you don't recognize or plan to use. Do the same for any default themes under appearance and then themes. Now we're ready to install what we actually want to use, the Bloxy theme. Now we're inside of WordPress and this is the WordPress dashboard. One thing I like to do is I come in here to the screen options and I just uncheck all of this stuff because it's just messy and I don't use it anyways. So I go ahead and just clean that up. So my dashboard is just a blank here. Next, we'll come down to these plugins here and these are the plugins that are currently on. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them for now. But if you wanted, you know, if you see something in there that you don't want or need, go 
ahead and uninstall it. Step three, install the Bloxy theme plus the starter template. So Bloxy is a fast, lightweight WordPress theme that's perfect for directory style sites. Comes with starter templates that look super polished right out of the box. So here's how to install it. We're gonna go to appearance and then themes and then click on add new and search for Bloxy. Install it and activate it. Then you'll be prompted to install the Bloxy companion plugin and go ahead and do that. Once it's installed, you'll get access to the starter sites. These are full website templates that you can import with one click. We're gonna look for one that has a clean business or service layout, even if it's not necessarily labeled directory, you can easily tweak it to fit doctors, lawyers, or any professional listings. So to do that, we'll click on appearance first and we'll click on add theme and in the top right here, type in Bloxy, B-L-O-C-K-S-Y, and we'll click on install and then we'll click on activate. Next, it's gonna ask us right here to install the Bloxy companion, we'll click on that. Next, we'll come to starter sites. So we'll click on that and then you can go by all categories or you could search for something. Let's click on all categories and let's click on business. And then we have these to choose from here. So again, we're just gonna find one that looks like would work for this. So far, this one's standing out and looking pretty good. This one could work too. That one could work. Ooh, this one looks really nice. Justice, I like the looks of that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna click on import here. And then it's gonna ask us to install the child theme, which I recommend you do. And it's gonna ask you which page builder you wanna use, either the WordPress Gutenberg page builder or Elementor. I prefer Elementor and that's what I would recommend you use, but if you prefer the Gutenberg, go for it. That's what I would use. And then it's gonna ask you to activate these plugins. One is Elementor, the other is WordPress Forms, which is a contact form. So we'll go ahead and install both, click install. And then this should take just a minute. Now we're just importing the demo website and we'll let it load. And now you've got a functioning website that looks professionally designed. All right, that went ahead and finished importing. So let's go ahead and click on view site. All right, here we are. So we have a full functioning website now and it's got these animations and everything and we didn't really have to do anything. We just selected, you know, our starter website and we've got a really good starting point here. We can click on the different pages here. So we've got home, services, we've got about, we've got news. This is like the blog section and then a contact page. Pretty sweet. Step four, set up the core pages. All right, so now let's structure this site like a real directory. Whether it's for doctors, lawyers, or any other profession, these are the key pages that you'll want. Homepage. Your homepage should quickly explain what the site is and help users find what they're looking for. Some ideas to include a search bar or a call to action button like find a doctor near you. Categories. General practice, pediatrics, dermatology, or if you're going the lawyer route like criminal law, family law, that sort of thing. Featured listings or profiles, a short how it works section. Now you can edit the homepage by going to pages and then edit the homepage. So let's go ahead and let's customize this page. So since we're on it here, we can go ahead and just click on edit with Elementor. So we'll go ahead and open that into a new tab. And this is just gonna go ahead and open up Elementor. Now Elementor is a super handy tool to use and it makes this whole process super easy. So obviously we're gonna need to edit this to be more of a directory website instead of like a specific law practice, but we can go ahead and make some changes here on the home screen. So let's do something like find the right lawyer for your needs. All right, and I just want that to scoot over just a bit. Sweet, I like that. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this depending on your situation, we can find the best lawyer to fit your needs. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and maybe we'll just get rid of this free consultation button and we'll just make this be learn more and we'll just center that up. All right, and then that button could link to our actual directory page. We can get rid of this. So we could go ahead and just get rid of everything below that. So we'll just make this a super basic homepage and we'll delete those 10 items. There we go. So now our homepage just includes that. Now we're gonna wanna make sure that we make this link over to our listings page, which we'll go ahead and the news page, I think is like articles. That's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna make this button. We'll come back here to the content. We'll type in news and the latest news will take us to that page. So when we click on learn more, it'll bring us to the news page, which we're gonna make our actual directory page. We'll go ahead and click on publish. Now when we come back to our website here and we'll go ahead and refresh this, we can go ahead and see that it just brings us right here and we took all that other stuff off and now we can go ahead and click on this, which if we click on that, it takes us to the 
latest news, which we'll go ahead and edit this page to be our directory. Directory listings page. So this is where people can browse or search through your listings. Depending on the plugins you use, this can be simple or advanced. You can use a plugin like GeoDirectory, Business Directory plugin, or WP Grid Builder to create a searchable, filterable list. Or for a simple setup, create a grid style page with profile cards using the Gutenberg blocks. Each listing can link to a profile page that we'll set up next. Profile pages for doctors or lawyers. So every person listed in your directory should have their own page. Here's what to include. Name and professional photo. Job title or specialty, like family law attorney or pediatrician. Contact info like email, phone, office address, office hours or availability, map integration, which is optional, short biography or credentials, and then like a request an appointment or a contact me button. So to manage these pages, you can use custom post types if you wanna get fancy, or just create a page for each person under pages. So for this example, I'm gonna show you how you can do this inside of WordPress. So if we come to posts, this is what will go ahead and turn our posts into you know our directory. So these are articles. So if we come in here, you know, it's just a bunch of nonsense, but it is categorized using like civil law, consumer law, corporate law. And we'll just keep those categories for this example and make some different lawyers for that. So we'll come on this and maybe we'll call this John Ham. We'll change his slug to John Ham at law. We'll keep civil law because that's what he does. And we'll go ahead and click update. Now, if we go ahead and click on edit this, now we can come in to this article and we can go ahead and set all that stuff up. Okay, so I went ahead and I'm just gonna make up a fictional lawyer here. And we'll go ahead and just get rid of all this. His name is John Ham. And we'll go ahead and paste all that information in here. And this is what it might look like here. So we can also go ahead and replace his image here. Click set featured image. And now we can go ahead and click save. And let's go ahead and click preview. Sweet. All right. And now we can go ahead and see that we have our information here about John Ham. And then what people would do is they could leave replies, they could leave reviews and stuff right here. So this is what you would do for each of your your lawyers in this case, or doctors or whatever you want for your directory. And then if we come here to click on news, we can see this is what that would look like. Now, obviously we need to go in and change some of the stuff like that news shouldn't be called that, it should be called directory. So what we'll do, let's go ahead and change that. Now we'll come to pages, we'll come to latest news, we'll come to quick edit and we'll call directory, change the slug to that as well. Go ahead and update that. So now when we click on this news here, this says directory, which is fantastic. That's what we want this to say. Now we need to change this up top in the menu so that that says directory. So let's come back to WordPress here. We'll come to appearance and click on menus and we'll click here and we'll rename this to directory as well. Click on save menu, come back here. We'll click refresh. And now that says directory. Now we could also go ahead and move that over. So that's right next to home and we'll click save menu, come back, refresh. And now that's gonna be our second thing right there. So that's just a really simple and easy way that you can go ahead and create profiles for your directory. Now, again, there's going to be some better plugins there that will work for that. But for now, that's a very simple and easy way to do it. Next up is the about page. So this is where you explain what your site is and why it exists. You can talk about the mission of the site, like we help locals connect with trusted professionals, who built it, why it matters, optional photos or bios if it's a team project. Now here, just keep it short, friendly and professional. So what we can do, we can click on the about page here. And now we can see that again, thanks to that starter site, we've got this page all laid out here. So what you could do, you could come in and put why you created this website, who your team is that runs this and why you're doing it if you want to. Now another page you could create is how it works or for professionals. And this page is for the people that you want to list. You can explain things like how to get listed, who qualifies, what kind of info they need to submit, whether it's free or paid, link, to a connect form or submission form. A contact page, simple but important. Here, include a form and we can use the built-in plugin that we just got like WP Forms and we already have one built into this starter.
Kickstarter website. You'd want email address, and optionally, you could put business hours, phone numbers, and a physical address if it's relevant. You could also embed a Google Map if you're working with a local business. Now, optionally, you could have a blog page. So if you want to drive traffic through SEO, a blog is a great idea. Some topic ideas could be how to choose the right lawyer for your case, top five family doctors in Dallas, what to ask during your first consultation. You don't need to blog often, just enough to build trust and add useful content. Step five, customize the look and feel. So now that your pages are in place, let's clean up the design a bit. You can go to appearance, customize, and start tweaking the site logo and favicon. You can change the color palette if you'd like, any fonts, header and footer layout, and the Bloxy theme makes it super visual and user friendly. Most things can be changed with just a few clicks. And if you're using one of the starter templates, most of the design is already there. So to go ahead and make those changes, we'll go ahead and close a couple of windows here. And again, we'll come over here to appearance and click on customize. And this brings us into where we can edit things like the header, the footer, the overall fonts and colors. So again, if we come in here to colors, we can see these colors have been set by the starter site. You know, maybe you want something that's a little lighter. So we click on this, maybe we make that more like that. Click publish, maybe change this color. Yeah, there we go publish and maybe you wanted to change some typography so we could come into that you can change your heading font maybe you want it to be bigger than that and this is where you can go make all those changes step six add listings and set up a workflow now it's time to actually populate your directory so you can start by manually adding a few profiles just to get the layout looking good like we did with our fake lawyer earlier if you go the second route use something like wp forms with custom fields for name specialty photo upload contact info, short bio, and set it so it emails you each submission so you can manually review and publish. As your site grows, you can upgrade to a more automated system using directory plugins with paid listings, verification badges, and more. Step seven, final checks and launch. So before you go live, test everything. The forms, the buttons, the links, and click around on both mobile and desktop. Fill in your SEO settings, and you can use a plugin like Rank Math or Yoast SEO. Make sure you set your homepage and blog page under settings and reading. And once everything looks good, publish your site and start sharing it with your community. So to recap, here's what we did. We signed up for hosting with Hostinger. Fast, easy, and affordable. We installed WordPress with one click. We used the Bloxy theme and a starter site to make our design look clean right away. Set up pages for our homepage or directory, individual listings, contact, about, and more. We added the content and listings for either the doctor or in this case, a lawyer and got it ready to launch. And the best part was no code, no tech headaches, no expensive developers. So if you're ready to build your own directory site, go grab hosting from Hostinger using the link in the description. It's quick, affordable, and it comes with WordPress built in so you can follow along step by step. Now, if you want to get started with Hostinger, this is an affiliate link down in the description, which means we do earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on the channel, we make videos on how to create websites, explore different website builders, discuss domain names, and so much more, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video. Thank you.